It's the aviary. The fingers cannot count the number of bird species with beautiful appearances on this earth. And one of them you can find in Southeast Asia. The bird's name is the pin-tailored parrot finch. A bird with colorful feathers resembling a rainbow. The back and wings are green, the belly and tail are red, the face is bright blue, and the beak is black. Their vibrant and charming variety of colors makes them popular as pet birds. Their tiny body size, only 11 to 15 centimeters in length and about 75 grams in weight make them look cute. So what about the female pin-tailored parrot finch? Are they as beautiful as male birds? The blue color on the face of the female bird is paler than that of the male. They also don't have a red belly, and their tails are shorter than males' tails. Even so, the female pin-tailored parrotfinch is still a sight to behold. The advantage of pin-tailored parrotfinches lies more in their appearance, not a sound. Their singing consists of a soft, barely audible crackle and a series of chirps. There are two subspecies of the pin-tailored parrotfinch. The first is Erythra prosiana, whose distribution includes Malaysia, Myanmar, Brunei, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Indonesia. In Indonesia, they can only be found on the islands of Java and Sumatra. At the same time, the second subspecies is Erythra prosiana celiac. They only exist in Borneo, Indonesia, and South Palawan, the Philippines. The pin-tailored parrotfinch of the two subspecies inhabits the lowlands and highlands up to 1,200 meters above sea level. They often live in bamboo groves, tropical and subtropical humid forests, forest fringes, riverbanks, and bushes. However, they often change places according to the rice harvest season. Yes, just like scaly-breasted munia and java sparrow, pin-tailored parrotfinches often invade rice fields in groups to devour ready-to-harvest rice, then disappear quickly after they are satisfied. When in action, this flock of birds can even cause great damage to rice fields. Therefore, few people consider pin-tailored parrotfinches to be pests despite their physical beauty. They usually live in small groups in the wild, especially outside of the mating season. They include friendly birds and often mingle with birds of the same species. It doesn't infrequently, they also group with other finches. They tend to be passive but dominant when it comes to food. There are occasional fights between the pin-tailored parrotfinch and other birds. Although friendly, these birds are often shy, disinclined, and even easily afraid if they meet humans. Keeping and breeding them can be quite a challenge, especially for beginners. Remember that the pin-tailored parrotfinch is sensitive to cold air and humidity. For example, we should keep the moisture at a level of around 80%, and if it's too hard for them, below about 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We can't help but keep them warm. If you don't have an aviary, we have to provide them with a large and spacious cage to fly freely in it. If the cage bird is too small, there is the potential for pin-tailored parrotfinch to become restless or even stressed. In the wild, they like to stroll over the rough branches of trees to trim and trim their nails. So, we also need to provide plants and rough branches in the cage. Apart from that, these birds tend to be easy to breed. If you want to breed them, make sure they adapt to the new environment. Don't also forget to provide friends and partners for them. February and November it's the time to get matched. However, unlike most birds who like to mate on the ground or branches of perches, Pin-tailored parrotfinches carry out their mating rituals in nests built in thick bushes or tall tufts of grass. Their nest is shaped like a dome equipped with a large side door. The materials for making nests consist of dry leaves, fiber, small roots, moss, bark, and grass. The female bird will then lay two to six eggs after mating, in which the eggs will be incubated alternately by the male and female parents for about two weeks, and the pin-tailored parrotfinch babies will be born. The babies will then be taken care of and fed by their two mothers until they are one month old. After that, they can live independently. 
The IUCN Red List classifies the pin-tailored parrotfinch as a bird in the least concern category. Their population in the wild is still quite safe. However, there is nothing wrong with keeping them in captivity, as long as we pay close attention to their needs and adaptation process. Finally, I hope this video is useful for you. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.